back to my channel and for those of you guys seeing my face for the very first time my name is esmeralda but most people like to call me esme and if you guys aren't subscribed please make sure to hit the little red button i would really really appreciate it so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this makeup look that is valentine's day inspired if you guys are interested make sure to keep watching all right guys so to start off i'm going to be putting my hair back and i'm going to be using these cute little pink clips to go along with the valentine's day theme I have already gone ahead and prepped my skin for makeup. Since I've had acne, I've noticed the importance of prepping your skin before you do your makeup. And to do that, I use this Niacinamide Plus Sink by The Ordinary. I then use this Hydro Boost Gel Cream that's by Neutrogena and it has hyaluronic acid. And lastly, I just use this Lippy Balm by ColourPop. So I know Valentine's Day is a few weeks away, but I thought it would be fun to come up with a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look for either date night or a girls night out if you're celebrating Valentine's Day instead. And my friend Haley was actually the one that gave me this idea, so thank you Haley. So we're gonna get started, and the first product that I'm gonna be using is this Maybelline Master Prime Primer and Base, which is used to blur reduce redness and control pigments. The packaging for this one reminds me a lot of the Smashbox one and there was mixed reviews about this product. Overall I had 4.4 stars out of 5 so I thought why not give it a try. Because I do have acne and acne scars, I want to find something that helps me cover it really well. So I'm going to try this out. very light green color and I've tried another one of Maybelline's primer I did not like it because it was kind of sticky and it had a weird scent but this one so far is actually really smooth on the skin and it doesn't smell like anything All right, so I always start with my face. I guess you could say the professional way to do your makeup would be to start off with the eyes. But I've gotten used to doing my face first, so I just cannot start out with doing eyes first. But I'm going to be covering up my acne and acne scars with the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And as you can see, I am running low. And I've been watching some videos recently to find ways to cover up acne since I've been struggling with it. And this one girl said that she uses her finger instead of a brush or a sponge. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Now for the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with this pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer this is by ColourPop and I'm in the shade light 7w I'm gonna be spraying my beauty sponge with some setting spray and I like to use this foundation since it's lightweight and although I have acne and I might want to cover it all up I don't want to put anything heavy on my face because then I feel like it irritates my acne and makes it worse So the foundation covered up my acne pretty well, but I can still see some red spots so I'm not too sure how I feel about this primer yet. To cover them up a bit more, I'm going to be using this antioxidant concealer by Revlon. It is their Photo Ready Candid Concealer. very very little pressure and it seems like it's helping to cover them up pretty well mm -hmm. 
All right, so now for under eye concealer, I'm gonna be using this Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. And I'm in the shade 14 Light Tan. Alright, and now to set everything, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Translucent. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my eyebrows, and I use this pomade by e.l.f. It's in the shade Medium Brown. Now that eyebrows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my eyes. And for eyes, I'm gonna be using this palette by ColourPop that I'm really excited to use. It's honestly the star of the look. And it's this one right here, the Love Bird palette, which fits perfectly with the occasion. But before I use that palette, I'm gonna be using this other ColourPop palette, which is the I Think I Love You palette, just because it has a shadow that I like to set my eyes. I'm gonna be going in with this shadow right here called My Tree just to set my eyes. So these are the colors that are in the Lovebird palette. They are absolutely stunning. They have some shimmers and glitters. And based off of these colors, I'm going to be doing a more pink tone eye look as opposed to something red. So for my outer corner, I'm going to be using this hot pink called Side Chick. Now I'm going to be going in with this shade called Flower Boy. For the rest of my eyelid, I'm going to be using this light pink shimmery shade called Peacocky. And I'm going to be going in with this white glitter called Cheap Cheap for my inner corner. So now to finish off the eyes, I was originally going to do a glitter eyeliner, but we're going to be a little bit wild and I'm going to do a black eyeliner, but only because I got this new eyeliner. It is this cat eye black eyeliner. This is by the brand Trendy by Camila Orego. So this is a pretty cool eyeliner. It has two sides. So one of them has the regular eyeliner and the other end is like this very stamp like wing. So you're supposed to just use it like that and it creates the wing for you. I've only tried it once. I think I did an okay job. So I'm gonna try it again. Wish me luck. not terrible. Now we're gonna do the next eye. Okay, guys, this is as good as it's gonna get. I actually had to turn off the camera and finish this eye because it wasn't looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead and do bronzer and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. putty bronzer. And this is in the shade Tan Lines. 
And I'm going to be using this brush by ColourPop. This is the F17 to apply it. And if you guys would like to share in the comments what has been the worst date experience that you might have had. But then I thought, why not make it the best experience? So if you guys would like to share what has been your best date experience or worst, whichever one you'd like, in the comments down below. I think it'd be fun so we can all read through them. So for bronzer, I'm just doing it in the shape of a three. Personally, I have not been on many dates, so I don't have many stories to tell. But I think for worst experience, it might have been with the last person I went on a date with. Just because we had to be going on Uber and public transportation and I honestly did not enjoy it because I'm not a fan of the public transportation here in Chicago. Other than that, I mean, the date wasn't bad. As for the best date, I don't think I have a story because I feel like all the dates I have been on have been pretty boring. No offense, but they've been like pretty like simple, plain, nothing extraordinary. So I'm going to use this brown brush to blend it out. And I'm actually going to be doing a bit of nose contouring, which I never honestly do. I'm just going to be using this same brush by ColourPop. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but the bronzer definitely brought some warmth to my face. And I used to use a powder bronzer, but I've come to realize that I really love this putty one by e.l.f. So I definitely recommend it. And now we're going to be doing blush, and I'm going to be using this one by Milk Makeup. It is in the shade Work. And through the videos that I've been watching, I've learned that liquid products are much better to give a natural look as opposed to powders. So I've been leaning more towards liquid products. And now for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Light Sticks by ColourPop and this is in the shade Bullseye. If you guys can't tell by now which is my favorite makeup brand, it's ColourPop. My dream collaboration would be with ColourPop, so I'm hoping to one day be on your PR list. That would honestly be such a dream. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes to do my lashes. I'm gonna start off by curling them. And I have to do this several times because my lashes do not like to stay up. They're always like straight. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. Alright guys, we are getting towards the end and I'm going to be doing lips and I have these two. They are the Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline. I was originally thinking about using this one which is a like magenta hot pink color but I don't really think it goes with the makeup look. I'm going to be using this one which is definitely more of a pink and this is in the shade 05 Loyal This. I'm going to be going over it with a gloss. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Puff. So to finish off the look, I thought it would be fun to add some crystals. So I'm debating between adding red ones or just silver ones. 
I'm not really sure the red ones. I feel like the red ones are going to be a bit much. It would have looked great if I would have done a red eye look. So I'm going to be going in with the silver ones. Bruh. Alright guys, and I am all done. I'm gonna do something with my hair and I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. Alright guys, here is the finished look. Alright guys, so that is all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it or got any inspiration for Valentine's Day, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so that you're notified when my next video goes up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!